reproduction in animals introduction the functions of the body are regulated by two major control systems the nervous system and the hormonal or endocrine system reproduction is a part of the endocrine system hence the hormones are involved a hormone is a chemical substance that is secreted into the body fluids by one cell or a group of cells and that exerts a physiological control affecting other cells of the body the process by which the living beings produces their offspring is called reproduction it is due to reproduction that a particular species of plant or animal continues on earth reproduction helps in continuity of life in increasing the population of any species and in the evolution of most favorable variations over a period of time reproduction may take place by either of the following two methods asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only one parent is involved asexual reproduction can take place through budding binary fission spore formation or fragmentation binary fission when one mature unicellular organism splits into two daughter individuals the process is called binary fission the parent nucleus divides into two nuclei then the cytoplasm divides into two parts each containing a nucleus a constriction develops in the body which deepens to form two daughter individuals budding in this kind of reproduction a small outgrowth or a bulb like projection called bud appears on the body of the organism the nucleus of the parent body divides into two and one nucleus goes into the bud the bud grows and finally detaches from the parent body to grow into a young individual since new individuals develop from a bud like in hydra this kind of reproduction is called budding in corals and sponges buds do not separate out but remain attached to the parent organism they grow to full size and reproduce again and again producing a colony besides these two processes there are another methods of asexual reproduction about which you will study in higher classes sexual reproduction in animals most animals reproduce sexually human beings also reproduce sexually sexual reproduction takes place by the fusion of male and female reproductive cells the male reproductive cell is called the sperm while the female one is called the ovum when the male and female reproductive cells fuse a zygote is formed the process of fusion of sperm and ovum is called fertilization of the egg fertilization may be either external or internal external fertilization involves the fusion of male and female gametes outside the body of the female example of such fertilization is the one taking place in frog and fish internal fertilization takes place inside the body of the female partner such fertilization takes place in mammals insects birds and human beings sexual reproduction in humans both the parents are involved in this type of reproduction male and female have different types of reproductive organs the male reproductive system the human male reproductive system is shown below the various parts of the male reproductive system are testes each male has two testes which are oval in shape they lie within the scrotum which is a sac like structure outside the abdominal cavity testes is composed of a large number of coiled seminiferous tubes where the sperms are formed epididymis the sperms empty into the epididymis another coiled tube the aging and maturation of sperms takes place here the epididymis leads into the vas deferens 
vast difference sperm duct this duct starts from epididymis enters the abdominal cavity and both these ducts meet each other behind urinary bladder from this point they continue as urethra urethra sperms mix with the fluid secreted by seminal vesicles and prostates which provide nourishment to them this combined fluid is called semen the urethra is the last connecting link from testes to the exterior the urethra is supplied with mucus derived from the large bilateral bulbo urethral gland located near the origin of urethra penis urethra opens into a muscular structure called the penis penis has a rich supply of blood vessels and erectile tissues which cause stiffness in the penis penis is the common way for the urine as well as semen an average human male starts producing sperms at the age of around 14 to 15 years the female reproductive system the female reproductive system has the following organs ovaries each female has two ovaries situated in the abdominal cavity one mature ovum is produced every 4 weeks from either of the ovaries fallopian tube oviduct it is a thin coiled muscular tube which joins the uterus and the ovary it passes the ova into the uterus by its ciliary action uterus it is a broad muscular chamber which receives the ovum the fertilized zygote grows into the fetus here vagina vagina is a wide muscular tube into which the uterus finds its way females attain sexual maturity at 11 12 years at this age they start producing ovum the female reproductive system is shown below fertilization in humans in human beings fertilization occurs inside the body of a female when the ovum meets the sperm it gets fertilized into a zygote after fertilization the zygote fixes itself in the uterus and starts developing as an embryo the period for which the embryo develops inside the body of a female is called gestation period after a period of around 9 months the embryo develops into a complete baby and comes out of the female body the nutrition and oxygen for the growing embryo is provided by the blood of the mother through placenta and other excretory matter such as carbon dioxide is given back to mother's blood to be given out in humans fertilization of the ovum by sperm usually occurs in the mid portion of the fallopian tube only fertilized ova ever reach the uterus once in contact with uterine endometrium the embryo implantation takes place the implantation site is usually on the dorsal wall of uterus a placenta then develops artificial fertilization test tube babies if the oviduct of a woman is blocked she will not be able to bear a baby this is because it prevents the ovum from being fertilized as the sperms cannot reach the oviduct where the ovum is present this problem can be solved if the ovum is fertilized with human sperms in the laboratory with a technology called in vitro fertilization ivf in this technique the doctor collects freshly released eggs and sperms and keep them together for few hours for in vitro fertilization here the fertilization occurs outside the body of the female in case the fertilization occurs the zygote is allowed to develop for about a week the zygote is then placed in the uterus of the mother the embryo gets implanted and develops into a baby in about 9 months babies born through this technique are called test tube babies this technique is quite useful when natural fertilization fails it was first introduced successfully in humans in 1978 development of embryo 
fertilization results in the formation of zygote which begins to develop into an embryo the zygote divides repeatedly and begins to form group of cells that develop into different tissues and organs of the body this developing structure is known as embryo after reaching the uterus the developing ovum usually remains in the uterine cavity on additional 4 to 5 days before it implants in the endometrium which means that implantation ordinarily occurs on the 7th or 8th day following ovulation during this time the ovum obtains its nutrition from the endometrial secretions called uterine milk the delayed transport of the ovum through the fallopian tube allows several stages of division to occur before the ovum enters the uterus gestation and childbirth the period between fertilization and the birth of the baby is called gestation the expectant mother is called pregnant in humans it lasts for about 9 months the embryo gets embedded in the wall of uterus and gradually develops body parts such as hands legs eyes ears and head the state of embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called a fetus when the development of the fetus is complete the mother gives birth to a baby the baby is delivered after 9 months of pregnancy sometimes due to some complication doctors remove the child from the womb surgically this is known as cesarean operation baby is delivered before completing gestation period are termed as premature babies and need special care parturition parturition means the process by which the baby is born or bringing forth a child from the uterus at the termination of pregnancy the uterus becomes progressively more excitable until finally it begins strong rhythmic contractions with such force that the baby is expelled metamorphosis newborn mammals and newly hatched birds have similar shape and structure as their parents however it is not true for the entire animal kingdom a frog mosquito a butterfly have different stages of development between hatching of their eggs and formation of the individual a frog passes through three stages during its development from an egg to an adult frog egg becomes tadpole or larva and larva becomes adult frog in mosquito when the eggs hatch a worm like larva comes out of each egg in about 2 weeks it changes into an encased form called pupa the pupa changes into a mosquito inside the case and in about a week the mosquito comes out of the case butterflies and moths also pass through the larva and pupa stages before the winged adult is born egg caterpillar larva pupa adult this process of change by which a larva is transformed into an adult is called metamorphosis viviparous and oviparous animals some animals give birth to young ones as their embryo develops inside the female body they are called viviparous animals example are the mammals those animals which lay eggs and the development of embryo takes place outside the female body are called oviparous animals for example birds snakes crocodiles etc in oviparous animals like in hen embryo develops differently after fertilization the zygote divides repeatedly and travels down the oviduct and many protective layers are formed around it after the hard shell is formed around the embryo the hen lays the egg the hen then sits on the egg to keep it warm development of the chick takes place inside the shell it takes about 3 weeks for the embryo to develop into a chick the chick now comes out by bursting open the egg shell 